Hello my friends and welcome back to another TFT game here on the ranked ladder. I'm your buddy UC. Come on in, sit on down, and let's play a ranked game. I'm trying to get to Masters. This is my... This is a video that is part of my ranked climb series where I try to get to Master. It's the highest... Well, the highest rank I've gotten in this game before is Diamond 2. And I would be pretty happy if I just surpassed Diamond 2. So that's pretty hard suck. But uh, the goal is to get to Diamond. I believe I can do it. Or, not Diamond. I meant Master. Ha! <laughs> Uh, I hope that wasn't a Freudian slip or anything. I'm trying to get to master, man. I'm trying to master the game. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'd be pretty happy if I did that. But we have a long climb ahead, so get on in. Sit on down. It's going to be a long ranked series, which is pretty cool. I figured you guys would want it that way. You know, have a lot of content to watch through. To watch me go through this. I mean, I certainly enjoy it. That's for sure. Oh, two-star jacks. You know, three-star jacks is actually kind of sick. I tried making him work the other game. Couldn't quite do it. But he is a very cool unit. We'll see. Maybe I'll go him again. Uh, I'll pick up Nunu. Just because, like, come on, it's a Nunu, dude. Nunu's awesome. It's kind of busted. Look, this guy's already going. Uh, Bees, multi-striker. Everybody's just picking everything that they can up. This is very reminiscent of the meta at the moment, where every low-cost unit is extremely important. <laughs> everything is extremely important. Just reroll comps everywhere. I'll pick everything up. Slamming. Gain a random one-cost champion after four rounds. Get another copy of them at the start of the round for the rest of the game. Or I could do slamming. Slam something and get extra experience. Frosty Frontline. The Frost Trait also grants one placeable statue equipped with Eternal Winter. It gains health each trait. The first time it would die, it would... Okay, I'm going to play this because I really want to play Frost. Like, kind of like Frost, dude. Not gonna lie. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna pre level here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And nope. Nope. No coin flip. Um, do this right here. I have two chrono. Not bad. I'm gonna give this to Warwick just so I can have a carry. And now I should probably be focused on making some gold. So I'm gonna sell. Ease. There we go. Okay, that should be pretty good. Definitely not bad. Yeah, dude. I love the augments for the traits and the champs of this set. They're very fun and cool. Very, very cool. I'm gonna pick up Nunu. Dude. Uh, that's kind of pretty lucky there uh he's a blaster so ultimately i want to go more blasters with this dude but that is a really early way i hope to itemize him let's see what everybody else is going let me guess let me guess before we start there's gonna be cassiopeia there's gonna be cassid and honeybees okay it's not fair because i saw this one but this one is honeybees and cassiopeia that's cassiopeia Cassiopeia slash Syndra. Dude, this little training dummy is kind of huge. Is he healing up? Yeah, he's healing up now. Nice, he doesn't even die the first time. That's so sick. Oh, uh, you know what? We need Swain. Let's not forget about our buddy Swain here. As well as our other Frost units. Swain and Olaf for the Hunter. And ultimately, we're going to have Diana as our main carry whenever we find her. Might be a while, so <laughs> get comfortable. Uh, I'm going to pre-level. I want to pre-level. I want to get a two-star away as soon as possible and hopefully some items for him. Jeweled Gauntlet would be pretty good here. 
Maybe a Bloodthirster on my Warwick. He's kind of just carrying items for my Diana at the moment. At least that's what I'm thinking of anyway. Oh, well, I have you here. You should subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you should subscribe. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers on that end. And we're doing pretty good. It's a steady increase. So if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. I love you very much. Like the video, please. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, like it anyway. <laughs> and now that I'm done with that, we can get back to my winning at the moment. Because, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good with just this two-star Warwick front. Alright, let's go. Let's get it, dude. What am I going to get here? Rod would be great. Rod or cloak? There's a cloak and a zillion. Dude, spatula would be the best thing I could get. But we're not getting that. Uh, so there's a rod right there. And then there's a cloak right there. Either one of those is good. Okay, rod's gone. So that's not happening. No, dude. No, dude. No, dude. Zillion. No way. Huh? They didn't want the frost? Oh. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'll, I'll gladly take that. I'll gladly take that. Take this. I need a chain vest so I can make a frost spatula. But after I do so, I'll be at five frost already. Which is pretty crazy this early in the game. I'm definitely not playing Honey Mancy, no thank you. All right, so all I need is a chest piece now, and I'll be at five frost, which should give us really good tempo for the early game. Uh, this guy also looks pretty strong with his two-star Warwick. Oh, oh no, my Warwick, he needs healing. Oh, he healed somehow. I don't know who that was. Nice. Oh my, my little... Not the training dummy with the frost. Nice, dude. Look at that. Early game Warwick is a beast. Uh, I guess he is two-star Dan with items, but he's, he's kind of a beast, dude. There's two-star Zillion. Twitch is almost two-starred. My whole board is almost two-starred, which is awesome. Two-star two -star frost board. Kind of good. This augment is awesome. Two star zillion. I really just want Hue items, and then after that, Swain, Olaf, Diana. There's not really any other. I mean, like Pyro, I guess, ultimately could be one if I wanted to play like Faris, Hue Blaster. But I'm not sure. You really just have to go any other comp that's not Cassiopeia or Cassid in this set. Because. Unless it's freely given to you, you're going to be extremely contested. I'm just letting you know. Another comp that I've seen is Ari. You like one star all, one star champs, or one cost champs, and then you go Ari. And it's it's pretty good as well, but that's also usually contested. We're pretty low elo right now, so everybody's going to... Probably have a hard time rebuilding their board. I know, I certainly do. Oh, look, here's the... Uh, okay, interesting. Multi-Striker Arcana. Not exactly it, but he's getting there. Bastion. Cassiopeia. Yeah, definitely Cassiopeia Syndra. Honey Mancer guy. Frost? Is this guy for real going Frost right now? You gotta be pulling my leg, dude. Nobody ever goes frost. You're telling me you picked this game to go frost in? Money? Okay, so didn't quite get the item that I wanted, which is sad. But hey, what are you gonna do? I might have to just hold my items. Gain a lesser champ dupe. That's gonna come in handy later. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I could build 
a Haj on my guy. Oh, I, I will level up here to put in the five frost since I can't do it regularly. Or I mean with the spatula. All I need now is an Olaf and I'm at seven frost. <laughs> Which is crazy. I just go level seven and I put Olaf in. And uh, just watch him work. I even kind of got some items for him. I, I guess I could slam this Hodge. You know, I'd make my Warwick stronger. Oh, this is the guy that's kind of copying me a little bit. I don't like that. I'd rather have a Spear Shojin on my way, probably. Oh. Yeah. You're not going Frost harder than I am, buddy. Even though your Mord's really huge. But I'm committed. I'm a committed man. Yeah, level 7, 7 Frost, 3 star away. Teaming up's gonna make me lose some gold. Or, I mean, Pandora's Bench is gonna make me lose some gold, but. Sometimes you just gotta go that, bruh. Alright, here we go. Dude, I could 2 star Nico. <laughs> but why would I do that, though? Just to have a bigger Swain, bigger front line. What I need is damage, so. I really just want to get a three star away. And hopefully some items for him here. I do love this Pandora's Bench Augment, though. It allows you to hit some crazy stuff if you're lucky. But, oh, this guy took it too. I don't know what he's going, really. Shapeshifter. Dragon. Oh, I'm fighting him right now. Dude, we took the same augment, dude. Birds of a feather, bro. Birds of a feather. I need another blaster in. I think that's mainly what I'm going to need, just to make sure that way does enough damage. He, he really doesn't do enough damage if he's not three-starred. I'm kind of highly depending on my uh, very high-capped frost board. Just having a lot of frost on my stuff. And that's okay. It's a pretty cool thing to depend on when you have this many frost units this early. <laughs> Come on, Hui. Two star Hui? Oh, no way. No way there. No way. I love that joke. I can't stop repeating it. Okay. Uh, we just sit here and we wait. And now this guy playing Syndra with perfect Syndra items is really strong right now. Hmm, I don't like that. How many needs to... I'm gonna... Oh, oh, everybody look. I pinged him, bro. Pinged him, bro. I'm trying to grief him. I'm gonna be really honest. Oh, he took all rerolling augments, too. So this guy's definitely on his way to hit the units that he needs to. Which is not great for me. Oh. Yeah, he's already so busted, dude. He's already so busted, dude. Ah, oh, nerf this comp, Riot. More dog. Please. Nerf this comp. It's so broken. You know, one of my friends really likes reroll comps, and he thinks that they should be the best comps in the game, always. There's a way right there with the item I need. But I always am of the mind of, like, the higher cost unit should be better. Even like, you know, a two star five cost I think should be better than a three star two cost. But he does not see it that way. And that's all right. That's all right. Sometimes reroll metas are fun. I know Warwick reroll was one of my favorite. Can't believe I got that. That guy was eyeing it. Warwick reroll when Chemtech was a thing was one of my favorite things of all times. You just go Ravenous Hunter. That was my favorite thing. But it depended on an augment. So I think it's like. Just slightly different. Dependent on an augment to be good. So, I mean, I kind of liked it on that end. That's not going to work. This could work. Druid. Dude, Wukong's kind of crazy. He's kind of a beast. Yeah, I have one reroll for my... Or one dupe for my Huey, which I'm definitely going for. And then all I need is Olaf or Diana, and that's it. 
Oh, this guy took Lilia's Augment. I've been wanting to get this. Your strongest Lilia gains 100% attack speed and moves 150% faster. Her ability deals 235% bonus damage, but only hits one target. So that's kind of good, but uh, kind of bad as well. Her AoE is really good, but I mean, it's mainly good because it's an AoE and it blasts everybody around her. I don't know, though. I, I bet it probably works out. Probably just go like very, very bastion. Dude, no way still. Come on. Or a Swain. Swain would be sick too. Got a lot of do like, like uh, what are they called? Couples? I don't know. Pairs. Got a lot of pairs. But no apples. <laughs> I. What is this? Like I just need. Just need a two-star Swain and a Hway, dude. And a freaking Olaf. Or Diana. What are the chances we high roll a Diana early this game? I just pivot straight to her. Level 9 Diana two-star. Honestly, with all the reroll comps, I don't even think that would be good enough to win. I'd have to get a three-star Hway no matter what. Too bad there's no Blaster Chrono unit. That would really be the best addition to my team right now. Blaster Chrono Karma. <laughs> She's kind of a blaster. <laughs> oh, that guy's spamming hardcore, man. Two Ezreals. I think I could probably sell Jax just for bench space. I'm not going to 3-star him. I'm going to replace him eventually. He's he's just not even that good if he's not 3-starred or has multi-striker. There's no real point in holding him. Dude, this guy's a blaster. Whoops. Okay. Oh, no. I just... What are you doing? Oh, two champ dupes. Two champ dupes. Gain two gold. Sure. I love gold. Dude, still no dude guy? What's going on? What is going on here? There we go. Sell that. Put frost on this fellow. Okay, I uh, didn't really get to use all my stuff there, but. Okay, now all he needs is a Spear of Shojin, and he should be pretty good. Oh man, this guy's board is insanely strong. I really need to hit that seven, seven frost. So, come on, Pandora's Bench. Do your thing. It's holding out on me. It's holding out on me pretty hardcore right now. Yeah, I have to get that. The soldiers exploding on death is really going to help my DPS out. Three soldiers will give me more frontline. Oh, dude. Dude. I'm going to take this because I wanted Diana. Did not get Diana. Did not get a Diana. Is he good with blue buff? Yeah, he only has 40 mana, bro. He's only got 40 manas. Uh, so this. And this. And I'll hold him. I'm just trying to re-roll for, uh... You know, my girl... My girl Diana. Let's sell this for now. Just holding up space. That stays there. Could build some tank items. Who am I gonna get to tank though? Wait, I don't think I should build tank items yet. I think I should build items for Diana, which is incoming, I believe. Should get her here soon. 
And I believe blue buff on Hui was a good idea. I really do. Dude, this Preserver Rakan is crazy. He's just... He's carrying. He needs to be 3 start as well. Dude. Kind of need to go level 8. Who do I add in at level 8, though? Well, the only reason I would go level 8 is to... Dude, Titans? And other Titans? <laughs> I mean... Would that even be good on Diana? I have no idea. Double Titans and, uh... Bloodthirster. Uh, poor... Poor Warwick, bro. He can't... He just can't live that. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, dude, seven frost is gonna be definitely what I need, man. It's what I need. I'll sell that. Okay, I'm getting kind of, kind of low, so I might have to roll down for way. I thought I would find him way earlier with my little Pandora's bench here, but oh, there's Diana right there. I'm last pick though. Uh, let's see what I need. Uh, what I need is a sword for. For a bloodthirster for my Diana when I eventually get her. Oh, she's gone. She's gone, dude. Uh, sword is still there. Or was still there. I'll take this then. Hmm. Tank items, huh? Might have to be Swain. There she is. Go ahead and do this so I could put her in, which is a huge plus for me. Roll down to just 40. Okay, that's that's crazy. Uh, plaster, do I want to sell that? Yeah, yeah, I do. And the reason being, the reason I sold that was because. I'm gonna take out Rakan, and instead of Preserver, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run a Nasus. Wherever he is. There he is. And he'll give me Shapeshifter and Pyro. Seven Frost equals good. But I still need to hit. Still need to hit a couple of things here. Okay, this and <laughs> I mean, what does what does Diana even do, man? I honestly don't know. Oh, Zerath, darn it, dude. Uh, should I re-roll this? Two briars. The hell. Okay, um... Wow, I'm gonna have to lock the shop. I'm a little lost in the sauce at the moment, I won't lie to you guys. So far, I'm just trying to get a two-star Diana at the moment. I know at least one of these is gonna be alright on her. Uh, dash within two hexes to hit the most enemies. And heal for 200 HP. Excess healing becomes a 3 second shield, then 380 magic damage to adjacent enemies, and 170 magic damage to enemies 2 hexes away. Every 2 cast creates a snowfall that chills and heals all allies. So I definitely want her to live as long as possible. Dang, dude. No luck on these rerolls, man. Uh, who do I... Probably just take this out right now. There's this. Seven Frost. I could still hit Seven Frost without having Warwick in. 
and then I could put this in and it would give me Bastion. Which would help my girl here live a lot longer. Another Xerath, dude. Finding an insane amount of high-cost units. Definitely don't need Zilli in there. Uh, who do I replace? Oh, yeah. Gonna go ahead and do that. Change this up. That's a lot of gold. That's a... Okay, Bloodthirster. I definitely got a Bloodthirster. And you know what? Uh, I'm gonna put this on her. I feel like that's good. And then I'm gonna give this to Olaf. Move that over here. Still have a lot of five costs to go through. Dude, there, dude, look at Diana though. That Diana's enormous. Okay, I don't know if I should really be trying to restart my Diana right now. Like, I definitely want to hold those champions for later. But three starring her right now seems like an improbability. I mean, is this better? It's just giving me Shapeshifter instead of Bastion. I think I'd rather have Bastion. I uh, could do that. Roll down a bit. Another way. Another way. Three star away. There he is. There's my boy. Oh, better get Earthquake. Dude. Dude. Okay, that's... My team is pretty strong now. I don't know. All I could think of is getting maybe like a Bloodthirster for... I'm keeping these two Briars there on my bench because if I get a two-star Briar... Dude, this Wukong is crazy. Can I even kill this? <laughs> I think this guy's gonna time me out here for a draw. I don't know if I can do enough damage. Huh. Is Wukong unkillable? Overtime? Nice. True damage somehow. That was pretty crazy though. That guy's Wukong is not dying. Four costs. Nope. Not a four cost. No, no Briar for a two. Two star Briar. That's cool. I don't need either of these. Okay, I can finally take all that off. And do this. I'm trying to three star four and five costs now is what I'm trying to do here. Even though I should probably go level nine. Dude, this guy's insanely strong. He hasn't lost at all. He hasn't lost in so long. I think the only way I am going to win is if I hit a very high cost unit. <laughs> very high cost, like four or five cost. Because that guy's insanely strong. Oh, is he... Oh, no. He has a three-star Nico, dude. Uh, somehow Wukong is still alive. But unfortunately for him, that Nico will never die. I'll never die, bro. Playing the best comp. There's another Diana. Which I'm obviously... I mean, Pyro, though. Nah, I'm gonna give for Diana. I'm genuinely trying to three-star her, so... I think it's gonna be the only way. Even though Pyro would just be a boost to my board. It's kind of whatever, man. Not really, uh... Not really what I'm looking for at the moment. That is a two-star Briar. This is an artifact anvil, so I'll take that. I was hoping to get something like a Death's Embrace. Another Eternal Winter would be kind of funny. Mana Zane. I mean, Mana Zane would allow Varus to cast pretty fast. Eternal Winter is just kind of funny. I'm going to give a Prowler's Claw to my Olaf. And hope that that's good. I would have given a Prowler's Claw to my Olaf, but uh, 
as you can see, it's not here. <laughs> I hate that glitch. Oh, there it is. Uh, is it too late? Sure is. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Pull off, it's right there. Oh, dude, the way. The way you can kill the backline. Oh, dude. Way better than cast confirmed? For sure? Oh, that guy's done. It's just me and this dude now. And our million rerolls. So, huh. Gonna have to get pretty lucky here to uh, get what I'm going for. Most amount of gold. My dude did just get a little bit stronger, so that's nice. Yeah, I think I think that'll be pretty strong here. Alright. With the Prowler's Crawl, maybe uh, Olaf will get back there. He just has to get a couple kills. Yes, there he goes. Oh, no, my Diana. How dare you? That was my queen. Bye, Cass. Nice. Dude. Oh, man. Strongest Frostboard I've ever played. I think this is a good chance to remind you guys that if you are not subscribed, you should subscribe and watch me on this climb. Just letting you know. Hit that button. And the like. <laughs> it really does greatly help boost my videos, so I would I would very much appreciate it if you did that. Uh dude, three star Diana. Very real. Very, very possible. Very possible. And then summon a Oh my. Okay. First roll down didn't work out. I should have gotten... Oh, there, there's one right there. Um, maybe some tank items? I'm not sure. Some tank items. There we go. Uh, ooh. Why is he picking up ways, I wonder? How is this chick so tanky, bro? Look how tanky she is. Okay, just uh, one more Diana, please. <laughs> uh, still close, but no, no cigar, as the saying goes. Dude, one Diana away. That's, uh... It's not really what I... I mean, I mentioned something about it earlier, but that's not something that I thought I would hit. I guess I haven't hit it yet, so... It's no guarantee that I... I will, but... Uh, I hope it doesn't end next round. I really want to hit that three-star Diana, dude. I mean, it's very possible that my Pandora's Bench re-rolls it, so... Oh no, that time my Olaf got got. He did not go back there. Oh, he three-starred Swain as well. Oh. Okay, I low-key wanted to lose to try to hit Diana, not gonna lie. There it is. There it is! Oh shit, dude! That's huge! That's huge! <laughs> I can't believe that. No, he killed it. GG. <laughs> he didn't even let me try it, dude. What a griefer. <laughs>